going back to what Jane said in that last segment, All you know, beautiful girls do a lot of things. And we just went through a horrific week last week when two beautiful teenagers committed suicide by going in front of a train. When there's issues, there's issues. Sir, for Amber, the entire community, everybody who helped out in our search efforts, and above all, our huge volunteer corps, they were the most dedicated people you could ever imagine. Without them, we couldn't have done anything. Amber Dubois' father gets the news he dreaded most that his daughter's remains were found on Saturday. He was at the courthouse today for John Gardner's hearing in the Chelsea King case. Uh, Aaron Runyon, uh, he obviously, uh, along with authorities, have now declared this man as the focus of the death of Amber Dubois. You know, every time one of these horror stories happen, and when I was a local news reporter, I covered the horrific death of your daughter, and it really struck me so deeply. But we always think, well, things are going to change. That's just too much. Things have to change. And yet, here we are, years after your daughter's tragic death, and we're talking about a similar situation. Is it ever going to change? I sure hope so. You know, there's no easy answer, but we've got to keep pushing for it. We've got to stop looking at sexual predators like every other common criminal. They're not. What are these families going through? You lost your beautiful five-year-old daughter Samantha um, it's it's a there's the shock and then after that the shock wears off where are they now you know I can't say in Amber's family's case I think that both families have been unbelievably strong just unbelievably strong to be in that courtroom so soon after hearing that news I, I my heart just bled for them but and when you um, go out there and you confront the uh, person who is accused of violating and attacking your own flesh and blood what is it like to see that person with your own eyes it just makes you sick it you there i remember for about a year during that trial i i would wake up and just my hands would be clenched my jaw would be clenched and i would be going over in my head everything i wanted to say and do to him and until it woke me up because it would get so bad but and um, the, the sad part is you can't say anything until like uh, right. the time where there's a victim's impact statement at the very end. Exactly. Yeah, they're, they are, I think, right now just focusing on how they can best honor their daughters and seek justice for them and not let anything else get in the way of justice. Now we're going to talk to another mother who's been through hell. Melissa Baum's 10-year-old daughter, Lindsay, disappeared last June. Uh, she's convinced her daughter's alive. Lindsay vanished walking home from a friend's house in Washington mm. State. It was only a 10-minute walk. Look at that beautiful child through a busy neighborhood. Recently here on Issues, Amber's mom said she believed her daughter had been swept into a sex trafficking ring and was still alive. Sadly, as we all know now, Amber's body was found days later. Melissa Baum, it is a very sad commentary on our society. When mothers, their only hope is to hope that their daughters are being held by a sex trafficking ring. Has it really come to that in America today, Melissa? Um, it appears to be the case. Um, you don't know what else to think. I mean, obviously, we we pray that the outcome is not what Mo and Carrie and and Chelsea's family are going through. Um, I I do believe, yeah. Um, I do believe that my daughter is, is still alive, and and law enforcement is very active and working very hard right now, and and they're making some good progress. So at this point. Um, I'm still going with the no news is good news. I, I truly believe that my daughter is still alive. And look at her with that t-shirt. It says mommy's, mommy's little girl. Look mommy's at this little beautiful. troublemaker. Oh, what a beautiful child. We are going to keep your case alive, Melissa. We're going to keep your daughter's face out there. We're not going to let this go. Uh, it's just horrific. Gina, Nevada, your question or thought? Yes. First, it's such an honor to speak with you. And my heart goes out to the victims of all these low lives. Anyway, I was just thinking, you know, if some of these really high-profile lawyers would have a little compassion for victims and refuse to take some of these cases, I mean, they are, everybody deserves the right to an attorney, but, you know, let them get a, something like the rest of us can afford instead of well, these people. This, this guy has a public defender, I believe, right, Lynn? 
That's correct. He has two public defenders on his case right now. Two public defenders, which, which would probably indicate the possibility of the death penalty, which they haven't decided on. Darren Kavanoki, let me ask you this. Uh, what do you what do you say to a caller who says, "How can you defend those people?" Yeah, it, it's a it's a fair and frequently asked question, and really, criminal defense lawyers don't get into that line of work because of a overwhelming right. love of criminals. It's about protecting got it. the system and I the gotta, integrity of the system. I got to go to Lawrence Olmsted, private investigator. Do you think that law enforcement mishandled the investigation into Amber's death? Didn't you say that they? that you pointed out the area where she was later found a long time ago? Well, let's start with some basics. First, she was reported as a runaway. That's how the police considered her initially. There's something called a card team that the FBI runs. It's part of the FBI. It's uh, the uh, it's uh, basically a team that comes out. It's the child abduction rap rapid deployment team. And they've got 48 agents throughout the country that are assigned for just this, this type of matter. When a child goes missing, they're supposed to be reported to the FBI, put in the NCIC system, and this card team is supposed to Did act Did they not it. do that? I you know guess what? not. I, I guess All right. not. Casey Anthony, up next. At Quicken